Stocks in China fell the most in more than five weeks today, but the benchmark index is up 76 percent this year. Are there still attractive buys in China? Samantha Ho is investment director of Invesco Hong Kong and portfolio manager of the AIM China Fund. She oversees a total of $3 billion in China-related assets. Samantha, welcome to Bloomberg News. Uh, tell us why uh, you're seeing strength in China. What's going on? We are seeing strong recovery in China. With the second quarter, 7.9% GDP growth, we're expecting third quarter and fourth quarter would even do doing better. Uh, give us a sense why. What, what are the internals that you're seeing that are driving this engine? We are seeing the stimulus measures taking into effect with positive sign of recovering. We're also seeing the consumption market is also picking up. People are actually spending. With the stimulus measures by the government on the consumption market, we think it's definitely on the rising trend. Uh, tell us how China's stimulus package played into all of this. How important was that? I think it's important. When you have nothing you can do about the export markets, you, you, you do need to buy growth, which means that buying, inv buying growth from investment. Um, the stimulus measures, including infrastructural projects, is something that they can do. And we think that all these infrastructures that are going to take place in the next few months or next year or so is going to help economy. Plus, they're going to have lots of booster for the domestic market, given that they have the real subsidy for home appliances. And, and that was step two, correct? Because step yes. one was the stimulus. Step two was to boost the domestic consumption. Exactly. You're absolutely right. So we have the second round happening right now. Uh, exposure to China, you say, may provide investors with much-needed portfolio diversification. How? Um, the thing about China is going big. It's already the third largest country in terms of GDP. It's going to be the second largest in a couple of years' time. And I don't think anybody can no longer that can ignore China. Uh, the AIM China Fund rated uh, five stars by Morningstar, the fund ranking in the top 1% of all equity fund performance. Uh, d talk to me about what you say are the three things that every investor should know when they're considering equity exposure to China. What are they? Um, you have to understand the policy, understand China, and stock pick is key. You have to find the right stocks in the right sector, and they will provide you with tremendous growth opportunities. Uh, you're saying do your homework. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, you have to understand the company. You can have to understand the strengths and weaknesses. Uh, when investors are, are looking overseas, when, when they're looking at a market uh, such as China, they're looking at a lot of things. They're looking at the information you've given them, but they're, they're also looking at, they're looking at the political climate in China. Does that play into this at all? Well, policy is always important in China. Um, there are risk, policy risks, but of course, if you actually do well, um, you can find companies benefit from the policy that they are, they're working on. A uh, lot of conversation been coming out of China, China d making some, mm -hmm. uh, some news within the last couple of months because they're talking about whether or not uh, the greenback, the dollar, can be sustained as the world's reserve currency. What are you hearing about that at all? Is that conversation still on the front pages? Well, I think China is looking for diversification as well. So they yeah. are buying treasury, but at the same time they are buying hardcore assets. Resources, binding rights everywhere, that's something they need in the longer run. Uh, can you give our folks uh, any sense of the top equity holdings? What are they looking like? Um, we have got, of course, banks. We think the banks are in a lot better shape in China than elsewhere. We have very little toxic assets. They have strong balance sheet. We like insurance companies. We like consumption companies, like um, Internet companies, for instance. Right. We have uh, China, China Mobile Hong Kong, China Life Insurance Company, China Construction, yes. Petro China, and Industrial and Commercial Bank of China. Uh, it, is, is China going to be the tide that lifts all boats? Is China going to help lift the economy out of this slump? Well, honestly, I don't think China can save the world. It can definitely save itself and help the others, but it's still not big enough to help the whole world. Samantha Ho, Portfolio Manager of AIM China Fund, joining us here in studio. Uh, please come back because this is a, a very interesting story and we'd like to get a little bit more in-depth with it. Thank you very much. Thank you.